and welcome to another episode of Fit Friday. So today I am doing another hike. This one is more strenuous than the one I did last time. This is like a, I think it's like a three hour hike or something, not including breaks. It goes up and then downhill, like up, plateau, and then down. It's kind of a, a loop actually, and it's actually taking me a while to find the trailhead. So I'm in Soxeton right now, which is a tiny little town. It's so cute up here. Um, I think apparently there's only about a hundred people living here. So yeah, I'm really excited. Today's like gorgeous weather. It's supposed to be super, super hot uh, in like down in the mainland, but I decided to come out here in the mountains. It's a little bit cooler. It's still warm, but it's a little bit cooler. Um, so I finally found the trailhead here and there's a fountain here. Um, so I'm just gonna drink some water. All the fountains here in Switzerland, unless they say no drinking water, are drinking water. So I'm gonna have some water here. I mean, I have water with me, but I'm just gonna have a sip. I think the first part is very, very steep. Um, so it's good to get the steep stuff out of the way. Oh my God, you guys. So, damn, this is, this is really steep. So the trailhead, the first part is like super steep. So I actually took some ski poles, but I wanna maybe invest in some proper hiking poles. I don't really know exactly what the difference is, but I mean, the ski poles work great. And honestly, this is so helpful because the first part is super steep. Can you tell how red and sweaty I am? <laughs> well, there's like a little forest here, but some parts are in the full sun and I should have left earlier. I should have left way earlier. I should have left at like eight o'clock in the morning or something. And then I came here and then I'm able to do this with in, not in the big heat. Also, stupid me, I forgot to put on my tick spray and I have it in the car and I just forgot to put it on. And now I'm like super worried about getting ticks because the place I'm walking through, I mean, here there's a trail, but there's like deep grass that I'm walking through and I'm just so worried about getting a tick. I mean, some of them are harmless. It doesn't matter. You can pull them out at home, but some of them carry like really dangerous diseases for humans and that's why I actually have a tick spray and I fucking forgot to put it on. Things to remember for next time. But yeah, the first part is really steep. I'm definitely like sweating bullets and really getting a good workout in. You can't really see it, but I don't know if you can see like the valley way, way down there. Uh, that's where I basically came from. I think I'm about halfway, I'm not sure. I hope I'm halfway. I have to keep going up this way. I mean, this is nice, idyllic, but I, uh, once I think I've reached the top, I'm on the plateau and then it goes like this and then it goes down. So this is like the toughest part. So I'm glad I did this near the beginning because otherwise it'd be kind of annoying to do this at the end of the hike when you're tired. I made it sort of to the, I think I made it to the top a little bit. I came up from the valley down here. Look at this view. I didn't come up this road, I actually came um, from way down there. So I just came up here over this meadow. And I think I have to go this way now. I'm freaking hungry. I think I need to make a stop somewhere and have have a snack because I'm super hungry. I need some energy. Oh, it's still actually a long way to go. Okay, so I found a little hut here. It was pretty. It was pretty strenuous. I'm really glad I took those ski poles as hiking sticks because it was super steep and it helped to like pull up. And the rain, the the terrain was pretty rugged at some point. It's not like a solid path or something there was like rocks and stuff so it's really good to take some hiking poles back there you can see the lake that's the Brienza See. so Brienza Lake uh, that's interlocking kind of down there so I actually brought some good stuff this time I brought a little bit of cheese I should have brought more I brought an apple and I brought this whole thing of like dried fruit and nuts because you need something really like calorie dense so this is really gonna give me energy. Pecan nuts, cranberries, raisins, prune, and then Brazil nuts. So I haven't met a single hiker. I just met one mountain biker. He was he was here at the hut and he just went down. So this is a really lonely hike, but I like it that way. It's nice. It's like you're just yourself in nature. And I think I might need to reapply some of the sunscreen after because I feel like it's crumbling off and I sweat it so much. So this is actually where I came from down way down there. Now I'm going to continue on the path. Feeling a little bit strengthened after that break. Still have quite a ways to go, but I think the first part was the hardest because it was very steep. So hopefully it'll be a bit easier now. Stars and sun are separated. Rainbow colors newly painted. I put it all in a paper bag for you. walked but it's been a while I'm getting pretty tired I came to like a bend in the road one was directly back to the village where I parked my car and the other one goes down this way and I decided to take the long way just because it's so beautiful down here are supposed to be these beautiful meadows covered in wildflowers so I really wanted to see that I'm gonna be so exhausted tonight I'm like almost 
down near the end. I mean, I still have a few kilometers to walk, but it's all downhill from here, so it should be fairly easy. But even like downhill can be strenuous. Like I'm still breathing like hard and I'm really glad I brought my walking sticks. Um, I think I might invest in some proper hiking walking sticks. So yeah, I'm gonna continue down this road and then it goes like, I don't know if you can see, there's like a little road that goes down there. Okay, I found the meadows full of flowers. I don't know if it's translating as well on camera, but there are just millions of wildflowers here in all different colors, purple, yellow, white, blue. Oh my God, so, so, so beautiful. That's the path I'm going down. It's just so idyllic, like, there's nobody here. Totally lonely. It was totally worth that steep upward climb in the beginning. So I'm making my way down, and at this point it's like really steep again. I came from way up there. The train is very rugged, like rocky, tons of roots from the trees and stuff. At this point I'm like tired, and going downhill, you it's really easy to stumble over something, especially when the path is very rugged like this so there was already like two places where I almost like tripped and I caught myself with the walking sticks so if you are gonna do this hike I would definitely recommend walking sticks because um, it's the terrain is pretty challenging I guess I mean this is like pretty good here but there were places where it was even steeper there's some places where they've like built in steps and I'm still sweating buckets I'm just sweating buckets <sighs> Soaked through. I just got back to the car. The socks I have are just like normal socks and I'm almost getting blisters because they're just soaked through in sweat. And so they're kind of like rubbing. I'm gonna get new socks, like proper hiking socks. And then I'm also going to get a better hat. Best thing is taking off the shoes. When you go hiking, always take a second pair of shoes. I just took a pair of flip-flops because it just feels like sweet relief. And I'm starting to get a blister on my heel because my socks are like soaked through. I don't know. It's like your feet totally swell up when you go hiking. That feels so good. I must have burned a ton of calories, honestly. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I mean, it was three hours, but it was steep, very steep uphill. Uphill and downhill, like the downhill makes you tired as well. By the way, I have the aircon on, so if you're hearing a loud sort of buzzing noise, that'll be it. It's 4 p.m. I started the hike at around 12, so I had four hours on the sign it said three, but that means without any breaks and stuff. So obviously I had a little break, and I mean, I, I took it easy because I stopped a lot to take photos, beautiful scenery, and I stopped to film, and sometimes I would film little sequences and stuff. So I think that actually did pretty good. I think if like, I mean, it wouldn't really be fun to do a hike without stopping. Cause I think it's nice to like sit down somewhere and have a snack. Per hour of hiking, you think, I think you burn 400 or between 400 and 600 calories, depending on the terrain. Like the train I went on today was super uh, challenging. It wasn't like the one I went on before was just kind of straight. And this one was like super steep uphill. So I must have burned a crap ton of calories. Like I really felt like, I mean, I was sweating bullets through the whole thing, breathing hard and I feel really tired now. Now, if you don't have a car, there is actually a bus that goes up here. That's the thing about Switzerland. You can get almost to every little village. You can pretty much get to any village. So I'm just unpacking the rest of my stuff that I had today. This thing is actually pretty cool. I just had some more food in here that I didn't eat and my jacket and all that stuff. So yeah, this actually is pretty cool. If you're interested in like a sort of uh, lumbar pack for hiking, um, it's pretty cool. I feel really good now. I took a shower, got cleaned up. I was feeling so disgusting. Now I think I'm actually gonna start editing this video because I think if I like, I just wanted to go chill. I wanted to lie on the bed and, you know, read a book or maybe watch Netflix. But I honestly feel if I lie down on my cozy bed, I am just gonna fall asleep. Yeah, I think I got like a super great workout in. Well, I know I burned way more calories doing something like that today than going on like a, a 40 minute run or something. So um, I think I'm gonna sleep like a rock tonight. Give this video a thumbs up and you can check back on my Fit Friday playlist because I've got tons more videos like this. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I would love to have you guys along. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.